In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can save money on modeling supplies for one Ford Care. So you've bought your models, you've realized you're going to need some hobby supplies to put them together and paint them. So you're gonna need some sprue cutters, you're gonna to need to come off sprues. You're going to need a knife to cut off the mold lines, you're going to need some glue to stick the little pieces together, you're going to need a primer to help the paint stick to the model, and you're going to need, roughly, you're going to need about three paints, and usually one wash, um, to get them looking pretty good. So, if you go into Games Workshop, you go, hmm, I'm going to need all these things, so you get a sprue cutter for £20, get a net and mold line remover for Fifteen pound, and um, you get some plastic glue. Four pound thirty, cracking deal. You're gonna need see three paints. Two pound fifty five a pop. You're also gonna get a wash for four pound fifty five, and a spray for ten pound forty, which adds up to around sixty one ninety. However, if you're sensible, you can do it for fourteen ninety nine or fifteen pound if you want to round it up. About it. Anyway, which means you're going to save around £46.91p, which is pretty good. So the way you do it is, um, cutters, or you can use wire cutters, which are pretty much dead on exactly the same thing. You can get a, is it a Stanley knife? Well, anyway, it's a type of knife, you need to be 18 or over to buy it, and it is a pound, much like the cutters, the glue. I used super glue from the pound shop, again, a pound. You can also buy primer. Now this is a little bit of a double-edged sword. You can spend money and for a pound and get some car primer. Obviously you don't go for the gloss, go for a matte, but experiment. Don't just put them all over your new brand new army and then realize that it's actually covered in the thing is so you have to experiment and find the right one if you google it you can there's a few websites and a couple of people who have put posts up saying about which ones they use anyway more long story short for one pound you can get a primer which will cover your models for the washes see this is the thing i don't like to go away from citadel paints a bit cheeky but you can save some money there as well. You could go to Triple Helix, um, triplehelix.co.uk. You save twenty five percent off, but there's a four pound delivery charge. So you you only start saving if you buy about eight paints, um, or if you start spending above twenty five pounds. Most places, um, local gaming shops usually save about ten percent off. The one close to me is Akron. Um, and you save ten percent. So instead of spending two pound fifty five, you're actually getting paints for two pound thirty. It might not sound like a lot, but you do save some money. So um, you get that from I bought that from them, and the wash as well. Um, instead of being four pound fifty five, it's only it's four pound nine. So you're not saving an awful lot, but it's better than spending full whack with uh, Games Workshop. So, moral of the story is, most of it you're going to get from Pound Shop. Go to a local gaming shop where they save about 10%. Um, that's the best, uh, best way of doing it. Thank you. Right, so before I forget, here's a little, a little plug for Akron Games. Um, good things, good things to say. Uh, you save ten percent off uh, when you buy Games Workshop Games Workshop stuff. I am sure to do discounts on other things, except I don't really buy the comics. I don't really buy Magic the Gathering things like that. But they definitely do events for things like that, which is pretty cool. Um, they buy and sell used Games Workshop models and other things too, which you can make money and save money that way. Also, really good. Um, like I said, they do events, so they'll, they do uh, 40k tournaments and stuff, which I just started doing. Um, they are. -da -da -da. They also have an eBay store, which features most of their buying uh, bought and used models. 
I'm not speaking English, but uh, which is pretty good. And key thing, they are also uh, very friendly. And you can go out and just nerd out for quite a bit, which is pretty cool. And like I said, you just turn up, play, and save money, which is pretty cool. And it's always a good idea to support your friendly local gaming store, people like to say. Um, so if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Also visit um, Akron Games on their Facebook page, of course. Um, and I'll try and put a link in the description. Cheers.